In this problem, we're told that a 60-watt bulb is connected in parallel with a 75-watt bulb on a standard 120-volt circuit. And we're told to find the total resistance of the two bulbs. Now, it doesn't look like a whole lot of information is given here, but it turns out we can find the answer here, the total resistance, based simply on the information given in the problem. And I'm going to do it a couple of different ways. First, let's realize this. They're connected in parallel. So if I think of 60 watts as my first bulb, so there, I'll call it bulb 1. So 60 watts is the power. So I'll say P1 is 60 watts. And then 75 watt bulb is the other one. So I'll call that P2 is 75 watts. And I'm just using using the 1 and the 2 to distinguish between the two bulbs. And what we're given is the power. But we know they're in parallel. So we know the voltage in each one has to be the same. And we also know that that voltage will be 120 volts. So we know that V1 is 120 volts and V2 is 120 volts. And we have a formula that relates the power and the voltage and the resistance. And that formula is this power is voltage squared over R. And if we rearrange that algebraically, we can say that R is V squared over P. So I can find R1 is going to be V1 squared over P1. That'll be 120 volts squared over 60 watts. And R1 comes out to be 240 ohms. And I can find R2 also. R2 will be V2 squared over P2. So that's 120 volts squared over 75 watts. And that comes out to be 192 ohms. And we want to know the total resistance. And we're told that those are connected in parallel. So I can say 1 over R is equal to 1 over 240 ohms plus 1 over 192 ohms. And I can take out a calculator. 1 over 240 is 0 0.0042. And 1 over 192 is 0 0.0052. And I just add those two numbers up, and those add up to 0 0.0094, 1 over ohms. So I just found 1 over R and it's equal to that. So R will just be the reciprocal of that. So R is going to be 1 over 0 0.0094 1 over ohms. And I can do that on the calculator. And it comes out to 107 ohms. And that's the answer. Okay, now that was a good bit of work. Not too bad. All of those formulas are fairly straightforward and ones that we've seen before. But I'm going to show you a lot simpler way to do this also. A lot of times there's another way to solve the problem which is a lot easier. Okay, we're told that the, to that the, the wattage is 60 watts in one bulb and 75 watts in the other. So we can find the total power. It's just going to be the 75 watts plus the 60 watts. Just add them up. And that comes up to 135 watts. And we know that P is V squared over R. And now look, we know the P is 135 watts, the power. And we know the voltage V is 120 volts. So all we have to do is one step of algebra, R is V squared over P, and put in those numbers. 120 volts squared over 135 watts. And that comes out to 107 ohms. Either approach is perfectly acceptable. This is a good bit shorter, and of course they both give you the same answer.